this um, I'm using a technique where I'm using um, the Platzel gel tin silicon that I use to make everything to paint it as well um, and we're thinning it down with it's a very lighter fluid because it has naphtha in it um, and we're not using any deadener and then we're also using the, the silicon pigments um, to color it um, and what it does paint, painting with silicon because silicon is quite like it makes quite a thick paint that is really shiny as well and so when it's painted over the top it gives this really wet shiny look which is very similar to what the tissue on the inside of the mouth looks like um, so I like it a lot um, so what I'm going to use um, I've pre-mixed up these silicon pigments I've got like a kind of a pink muscly gum colored one um, and I just yeah I use like my mold life pigments to make these and so the pink gum one is used using red, white, this um, flesh tone, a little bit of brown, a little bit of blue, and then we've got like this kind of fatty tissue yellow colour, and that was white, blue, flesh tone in yellow, and a little bit of brown. Maybe there wasn't blue in there actually. Um, and then this is like kind of the meteor bloody red colour, which was red, brown, flesh tone, and blue. Just like different, you know, amounts of it. Obviously, just kind of mix of different tints. Um, but yeah, that all the mold life, all the mold life um, colors. Okay, so um, I'm gonna mix them up in these disposable cups and use like paint brushes, which are kind of shitty, so I can throw them away afterwards because the silicon can ruin your brushes. So I wouldn't use nice brushes for this. Um, and I'm gonna be wearing gloves as well. So to make the pink gum colour, I'm going to, oh, to make the pink gum colour, I'm going to put like just a tiny bit of Platzel gel tin in A. And just like a smidgen. But that much is totally good. Same thing with B. like that. It's a good amount. Add in some of this very lighter fluid for the naphtha that it has in it to thin it out. Just a little squirt. Mix it all together. Should look kind of like this. Translucent. I got my reference photo up, so I'm just gonna try and copy um, the the tones that are going on in that image. Um, but first of all, I'm just going to kind of put like a basic layer of this over everything. too far up on the edge. Just get a cotton tip. Clean it off a little bit. like this underneath color coming through and I might even wipe off some of this pink to get this um nice almost fatty kind of skin colored turned 
come through a bit more. Lightweighting excess for cotton tips as well. Wipe off my paintbrush pretty well between colors as well so the silica doesn't cure it in the bristles and make it useless. Um, yeah, and you can reuse these cups um, once the silicon cures and it takes a little while longer with an app, but once it's cured, you can um, just pick out all the silicon and then reuse it for a different color. Um, or use it the next time you paint something. Yes, yeah, so that's the pink layer done. I just tidy up this edge a little bit. Now that this is dry to the touch, I'm going to do the same process. Um, the fatty colour, so I'm going to put black soil gel tone A and B into my cup. the reference photo and just kind of place it mostly on top of these like, fatty areas and I'll blend it out in a minute. Get off a couple of them so it's like a little bit less uniform. Last one, Mr. Red.
Okay. It's covering where the darkest parts are on the image. It's usually like in the little kind of dents and, and parts and around the edges. So I'll start applying it there. I'm just going to start by kind of filling it in and then I'm going to go back over it with a cotton tip and remove like the excess. A zipper on the cotton tip just to help blend it and blend the colours out a little bit. It's just building up the colours and then wiping it away and then building it up and then wiping it away until it looks about right. Um, and for me that's comparing it to the reference image. Okay, I think that's good. I'm gonna leave that to cure now. This is a finished piece. Um, it looks wet still but it's fully dry now. I'm going to see like some of the details. See like just how soft it is as well. 